So let's go ahead and start off here. We need to go find MuseScore, and I have it under Applications, which I would expect most Macintosh people would have it under. We'll go with this. Let this guy open. I'm going to create a new score. Okay. So it prompts you for the title. Let's do Angeline the Baker. No subtitle. We'll put an arrange um, line here. And then copyright is going to be public domain. Okay. And then we'll click continue. Now we're going to choose instruments here. So let's just say choose instruments and click continue. And it's going to present us with a bunch of instruments. Unfortunately for us, they don't consider a mandolin to be a common instrument. To get uh, the mandolin up, we need to go to all instruments. Then come up under uh, strings plucked. So let's go find the mandolin. Uh, let's see, mandolin, L, M, mandolin. Okay. So I'm going to highlight mandolin. Uh, either one's fine. I will just stick with the top mandolin and we'll say add. Now this is where it gets kind of interesting. This is a scoring program. So you can add a lot of different instruments. Okay, so you could have two mandolins if you wanted to write two mandolins. And you could decide uh, whether it's going to be standard notation or uh, tablature. Okay, but what we want to do is we want to just have one instrument, the mandolin, but we want to have tablature and notation at the same time. And to do that, we have to highlight this staff one, and you'll see that it ungrays this add linked staff. All right, and we want to do that. Let's add a linked staff. All right, now the top one's going to be standard notation. Let's make the bottom one uh, full tablature. Okay, and then cl click continue. All right, now we need to go choose the key. And this will kind of confuse you if you don't know your keys that well. And actually, I kind of forget mine. So what you can do is you can just mouse over, and it'll tell you what key. So one sharp is G major, two sharps is D major. So this happens to be in D major. Let's click on that. All right, you don't have to put this in. You can leave it empty and add it later, but it's kind of convenient. Same thing with tempo. You don't have to add this in, but it's convenient to put it in. Uh, the tempo will do two things. First of all, it'll tell, the, it'll tell the reader what speed to play this at. But more importantly, when you go to play it back in MuseScore, it'll play back at this tempo. So let's click Continue. All right, time signature. Yes, this is in 4-4. Four, four. Pickup measure. This is interesting. So a lot of times in fiddle tunes, you'll have a pickup measure that isn't a full four beats for a 4-4 four, four tune, for example. So we actually have a pickup that's going to be two eighth notes. All right, so I'm just going to put two and eight here, and that'll leave space for two eighth notes, and that's it. Okay, for the first measure, 32 measures. Okay, that's fine. We can always add or, or subtract, and actually it says this here. All right, let's click done. All right, so this looks ugly. <laughs> because it's just crammed all these measures in here and as we start to populate it's going to automatically select how many measures per line. I don't really like that. I like to have four measures per line. So what I'm going to do is go up to format and go to add remove system breaks. And then you can see here it says break systems every four measures. And that's what I would like to do. Let's hit OK. And so this little carriage return here is a system break and you can you can change where these go um, and you can change how they go. So now we're all set up to start entering some notes. We'll do that in the next video.